Hello there, my crafty friends. This is Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations. And today we're going to talk about the trace panel and the different ways that we can use it. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I have this mandala that I drew in Procreate, and then it's just saved as a PNG, and I had added some text to it in Procreate as well. So you can see uh, this is a PNG that does not have a transparent background, but that's how I saved it. I can still resize it um, just like I would any other PNG and it stays the same. So we're going to use this as our sample and I think it'll be easier if we work off the mat today. So that way I can show you the different ways that this works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to make a couple of copies of this to show you an idea of, of how the different ways. So I'm gonna come over to my replicate panel and I am just gonna go ahead and make a column of four. So it made four copies of what we're working with here. That way I've got plenty to show you what we're doing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my trace panel. And in your trace panel, um, I'm in business edition right now. So I've got a few more things than uh, what you would see in basic edition. But they, be, you know, it's all relatively going to work the same. So you've got just your, this is your standard trace. You have a trace by color, and then you have a magnetic trace. And we're going to work on really. Let's just start with our basic trace. So you're going to select the trace area. So you click on that and see how it gives me this little um, uh, pin dash here. And I'm going to go ahead and select. And I just want to trace the mandala. And that looks good there. And now what I have is I've got options for solid fill, an outline, I've got a threshold, I have a speckle threshold, high pass, scale, I can trace, I can trace outer edge, and I can trace and detach. A lot of options. So let's just kind of work our way through these. So right now, this is a solid fill. And what that means is that it has filled in everything that's black and it's gonna, it's gonna accept that. So now I can take that threshold um, and I can turn that up. And you'll see as I turn up the threshold, your uh, trace area is going to change. And these take a little bit of time to show you what's going on once you click on something. So we take that threshold and really this one's hard to tell, but it makes these lines a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can really see that. So then if I take that threshold all the way down to 7%, now you see how you've got some of the black showing through. It's a little bit more jagged. Okay. Um, so I am going to take this up to, let's go back to about 50%. And that looks pretty good there. And then um, you've got this dispeckle threshold. So I'm going to turn this all the way up and you know, I don't really use this a whole bunch. Um, when you have some things that are kind of have a lot of white noise, this is kind of supposed to help with some of that white noise as well. But I typically, oh, so I'm just going to take that back down to zero and make sure my regular threshold is where it needs to be. And then you have filters. You've got this high pass filter. Right now it's off. But you see when we turn it on, it kind of changes things a little bit differently. And now it's going to cut basically all of the white that's within. So it, it's um, almost the opposite of what we had. See how that's different? And then if I turn it back down and turn it off, so that's off. And then it's kind of filled it in a little bit different. So I'm going to leave that off. And then you have your scale. And let's go ahead and just turn that up. And you can see how grainy that looks. Uh, you know, it's not as sharp of a uh, trace. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back down. And that looks good. And then with this one, I am going to go ahead and hit trace. And now you can see where my black lines are. I'm going to go ahead and try to pull my 
may have to kind of scoot things over here. And this is what it's traced. So I'm going to give this a fill color. I'm going to fill it with black so you can kind of have a better idea. We'll get rid of our line color, a better idea what it did. And it basically traced all of this black area. And now everything that in this one was white is now transparent. Okay. So that's using just the regular solid fill and trace. Do you find this helpful? Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Now let's jump back in where we left off. Now for this next one, again, we're going to do trace selected area. And again, I'm going to leave all of my thresholds the same and this time I'm going to do trace outer edge. And now if I pull this out of the way, now you can see all it did was take the outside. If I give this a fill color and get rid of the line color, now you can see what this one is. And I'm just going to kind of keep track over here of what we're working on. So I'm going to pull in my draw a note. Not, let's see, control. I'm going to zoom out and see if I can find, I don't know where it went. It didn't give me a note. No, there's my mouse. Okay, so we're just going to write. So this one, there we go. Let's pull this over. Okay, so the first one we did trace. For the second one, we did trace outer edge. And for the third one, we'll go ahead and do trace and detach. This way we can kind of keep track of the differences. So again, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select the area to trace. I just want to trace that mandala. And I'm again, solid fill. And now we're going to do trace and detach. And I'm going to pull the original over. And now you can see it basically cuts this out of the original. So how this one is just the outline. Basically it cut the outline, but left all the detail. So this is still, and if I went and changed and gave it a fill color, it's going to fill everything in. So we don't really want to do that. This I kind of think is um, more like it's still a PNG meaning I it's not going to cut out all the little pieces. It's only going to cut out kind of the outline basically. So that's trace and detach. And then let's see what other things we can get into. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to make a few more copies here. And then with this one, let's bring back that trace panel. And now um, we're going to trace selected area. Again, I'm going to grab just this mandala and this time I'm going to do outline. And the, the threshold doesn't look as great on that outline. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up that threshold and you see how my, so your yellow line is your threshold. See now it has none and that looks Okay, let's see if we turn up the despeckle if that does anything. Doesn't really make any changes. And let's see about that high pass. Mm, hard to tell. So I'm just going to turn that threshold up. Um, we'll go to 100%. And then I'm going to hit trace. And with that, let's give this a fill. Okay, that looks really similar to what we have from this top one here, doesn't it? And that was doing the outline. So those look pretty similar. So for number four, we did 
trace outline. All right, this next one, um, I, and we kind of saw tracing these outer edge, how these other ones all kind of did, um, they would be the same whether I did a solid fill or an outline. So let's go ahead and do trace by color. And I'm gonna do trace by color, and I'm just gonna select this dark color. And I, now I can do a single area, meaning it'll only do this, or I can do multiple areas, and then it'll grab the text as well. I'm just gonna do a single area. And then, so here's the solid fill, and then the outline, again, would look pretty similar to what's above it. So again, we'll do solid fill, and then we're gonna do trace. And we can pull this aside. Let's go ahead and give this a fill color. We'll get rid of that outline. And these look pretty similar. Again, this one really just looks a bit thicker than what's here and what's um, at the very top here. So for the fifth one, we did trace by color, and then we did solid fill. Okay, and then for this one, let me go ahead and show you what this trace by magnet. So it gives you some directions here on how to do this. So you start with magnet trace and then click on a point to begin the green trace line will follow borders and it finds within the magnetic circle. So you want to click and drag. I haven't messed with this, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so my circle and I want to just kind of click and drag. Seems like I'm kind of making my own box here of the area that I want it to trace. And then I'm going to hit uh, trace. And let's see what happens. Hmm. Didn't really do anything. Okay. Well, I've never really messed with this. Right click to rewind your magnetic line. So let's right click. I'm just going to undo. Let's try this again. So I'm going to come across. And let's see if that does anything. And then let's try trace and detect. think it's still thinking. Let's see. So with the trace and attach, it went ahead and cut out everything that was in that magnetic area. Like I said, I've never really used this magnetic trace. Um, I, I'm not quite, I'd have to play with it some more to really see what it would be used for. Um, how good it would really be. But let's go ahead and say number six was the magnetic trace. Uh, magnet trace. Okay, so now that we know what all we've tried, let's go over to the sun panel. Actually, let's go back to our design. We're going to zoom out here. And then I am going to grab all of these. Let's just pull these over. And then we're going to look at what they look like on the send panel to give you a better idea. And then here's our original. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Okay, so now let's go to our send panel and we'll kind of get an idea of what's going on. Whoops. And let's take this and bring it over here so we can read it too. 
Okay. So the first one was just a trace, just a regular trace. And you can see it. all these red lines here are your cut lines. So it's going to cut it out and it's basically going to cut out the black area and all the white areas will be what we weed out of our design. Okay. And then the trace outer edge is this one here and that just gives us the outline. So what I would do here, if I wanted to make this a two a two tone what I could do is cut out this one by trace and um, I could cut this out of pink and then I could cut the outer edge this one here and make that green and then it would have a pink and green it would be a two layered mandala so you, that's how you would kind of use this piece here as kind of your back layer and then our third one here was the trace and detach. And because it detached it from the original, again, it this would be good um, if you wanted to do a print and cut because then it would go ahead and print all of the design and then it would just cut the outer edge for you. Uh, so that was the trace and detach. And then this one here, um, so this one was trace the outline and again it looks really similar to this first one here doesn't it uh, where it went ahead and traced the outline of our black piece here and again we will um, weed out all of these white areas so that's that looks pretty similar to this one here again so that was the trace outline this one over here was the trace by color and once again, it looks very similar to our standard trace and our trace by outline. And, and all the white areas we would again weed out. And then um, this one here was our magnet trace. And like I said, this would be a different type of printing cut. So you could print this and it would print all of this and then it would just cut this odd shape for you so you could do that and then here's our original and so with this one now let me tell it to cut and now what it's going to do is it's just going to cut out the entire design because it is a png this is so basically this is to prove to you why with a png we have to make a trace unless you wanted to do it as a print and cut but it's basically only going to cut on the outside of that white uh, backdrop area so there are six different examples of how to use the trace panel to trace a PNG to turn it into a cuttable file.